Hello YouTubers. It's been a while since I put together a video, but there's been some developments over the past week or week and a half or maybe two weeks and I thought, well, I better uh, get this here out as kind of a an announcement or a heads up for all of you out there. And this is what, you know, pertaining mostly uh, to this gang stalking stuff that's going on. And uh, there's a dear sister in Christ of ours, her name is Jerry Ray Lynn, and she's going through some really tough times here and I ask uh, all of you when you're done listening to this video to say our prayer for her. Uh, she's ha having some personal uh, family problems and she has a uh, cousin that's being real traumatized by the gang stalking. They're really hitting her cousin hard. Also uh, I've noticed that there's a big uptick on uh, people watching the gang stalking videos so I'm just getting the impression that um, this stuff is starting to go really mainstream and they're gonna they're going after everybody or whatever or whoever that they can hit to uh, intimidate everybody but that's part of the machine and then uh, finally uh, all this information is uh, kind of was really brought to light by brother Thomas back in 2008 when he had mentioned the word gang stalking and uh, that pretty much put the uh, name to the face of what was going on and what was happening to me too because that's been dealing with this since 2005 and uh, he's had some recent posts on his blog and I'll put a link to that and uh, he's been always way way ahead of the game as far as the information so I hope you find this uh, informative and uh, find some encouragement there to keep on trucking day in and day out hello youtubers this is part one of uh, Brother Thomas's blog, uh, part one of the scouting report. Oh boy, I'm not quite sure what to say. A lot is going on and things are ramping up exponentially. I suppose I'm kind of like a scout or a watchman. Well, maybe more like a scout because I go ahead. I'm always on the move, studying, researching, watching, experiencing. I can't help it. It's just the way I was made. We're all got our incl inclinations, interests, compulsions, eh? I'd rather they s dare say that I'm a bit of a tracker, so to speak. We'll start tracking. I seem to have a knack, a sort of extra sense in which we're able to follow to where the game actually is. Then, to connect the dots, coordinate the signs, see the picture, and be able to fairly well tell where it's all leading. My accuracy speaks for itself. In this case, honestly, I'm a little spooked by the picture I'm seeing. I happen to have immersed lately in reading in depth accounts of the Wild West, particularly the recounts of the American Indian Wars, the related explorers, mountain men, pioneers, etc. Continuing with that sort of imagery and metaphor, let me just say it's kind of like this. We are surrounded. During the night, the enemy has crept into position while the camp was mostly asleep. The outlying sentries and random camp hangers-on are starting to be picked off. They are being isolated and quietly taken out. This is what happens in a seriously intended deadly assault when you have a determined, long-planning, stealthy enemy who has specific designs of conquest. There is also a palpable malignancy and downright wicked stench to this infiltrating and surfacing force. They are organized, insidious, conscienceless, and operating with arrogant, cruel impunity. Where it used to be mostly and only those other watchmen types who were aware of and under assault by these quiet assassins, the ring of targets is now getting closer in and more buried. By that I mean that it's no longer a fringe thing. We were uh, a herd, and where it had once been only those on the far edges, that were taken down by the shadowy lurking predators. Now some of those further in, in form or, or in from the boundary of the herd are starting to send something poking their heads up and likewise coming under attack and being knocked off. So there I've laid out a picture, an analogy in a very general terms, and I'm wondering just what to do with the rest of it, what to say, how to say it ironically. While it has nothing specifically to do with Bigfoot, it turns out that some stuff is happening in the Bigfoot community. They don't really know what's hitting them. That is putting into perspective just how of a lockdown situation we are actually in and don't know it. Well, some know it and some are getting 
too sadly every day. Think Stasi, East Germany, surveillance state, psychotronic technological harassment, gang stalking on a massive scale. That's gone on before has been child's play, a warm-up. They are getting serious now, and it's very ugly, sad, wicked thing we are into here, which won't, I'm afraid, be being turned around anytime soon. Looks like we're going through it, and it's begun. Get right with God. Stay right with God. Pray up. Stay close to His Spirit. Make your way in your soul so that the Spirit is not grieved and can be constant comforting inhabitant. Outside of that, outside of Him, it is going to seem quite hopeless. They intend to crush all hope, all morale, with overwhelming cunning control and yes, cruelty and brutality. Sorry to be so bleak, but just want to be real and give it the heads up. I still expect that this quick and easy exchange of information and communication that we've all gotten used to will not always be there. And so you've got to be prepared to cope when the isolation darkness falls. Take care. Brother Thomas. Hello YouTubers, this is part two of the scouting report by uh, Brother Thomas on his blog, Brother Thomas blog. It's like this, the scout is out front, peeking over a butte, looking down with a silent gasp, having just come upon the enemy's stronghold. It is a shocking and dispiriting sight. He takes in the full view, analyzing, looking at the array, the multiple of weaponry and assaults, then rushes back to tell his people the news, uh, the weaponry and assets. When he uh, arrives back at his own camp, he is out of breath, alarmed and dismayed, with the vision of what he has just seen still so fresh in his eyes and mind, the ramifications thereof. That is the mood in which I wrote the last post. I am less distraught now, though not because of any more optimistic reappraisal, but from having more distance and time away from what I saw. Here's the gist of it. What happened, or is happening now, to actress Brittany Murphy and her husband, her friend whistleblower Julia Davis, to Randy Quaid and his wife, journalist Cheryl Atkinson, Catherine Engbrecht, tea partier, Bigfoot researcher Bob Garrett, David Crowley of the Gray State, and it's, and it's happening to increasingly more average citizens who find themselves targeted individuals. In my once annual May Day appearance on Zeff Daniels' podcast, that was May of 2008, I talked about the Global Gang Stocking Syndicate, and in the early days of my blog warned that this means would be used to eventually control all of society, to suppress dissent. What I am saying now is it looks to me like they have the program fully in place and can reach it into any far corner of the land. There is nowhere to hide. They are installing military-grade sensors and cameras in the national parks and out in the wilderness. Seriously, Big Brother is watching, and he is ready and able to, at a simple command to make the life of any dissenter, freethinker, patriot, etc. a truly living hell. homeschooling, refusing vaccines, constitutionalist protesting, traditional values, Bible believers, preppers, alternative health purveyors, and so on, are some of the common targets. And I believe that eventually the army of these harassing agents is so large, so ubiquitous, and the technology is so advanced and pervasive that they will eventually get to practically everyone. They have to target enough people so that if you yourself are not targeted, you know somebody who is and have seen it in action. This will act to scare everybody or every target or not into line. They are also in the last stages of rooting out any old-fashioned traditional police sheriff officers who might be of any kind of help to a targeted person. They themselves, the good police, are coming under attack. That is how bold and operating with impunity this infiltrating cabal has become. 
they are beyond a tipping point where they could have been stopped. That is what I saw, which, which me as it did, just how widespread a vicious and vicious this mode of social control is. This is the KGB with steroided technology and what the East German Stasi began to perfect in its later days. Another change that I see is that where they are at first tested it out on the fringe people, homeless, single women, men who often had no agenda themselves. Now they are using it in a more focused way on whistleblowers, activists, and generally politically incorrect. And I must admit, at times like these, I am glad we have God of judgment and justice who will deal harshly with the wicked, with these wicked and and that as believers we've got to just stay the course. I recall to sometimes that God of the T New Testament is the same God who delivered the justice in the Old Testament. And yes, bon bon, I have mentioned that many times and point to snail mail address there on my blog as I hope to keep it that as long as possible for just the same reason.